Greetings, this is the Timeshare Traveler. Today is episode 138. 138. Uh, HTV Max resale versus developer points trade off. So I wanted, to, I had a request from one of, one of the subscribers that um, I go through and describe what the differences were versus retail, what, what you get. And so that's what I'm going to do. So I'll talk about buy retail, which is really buying used, or developer, which is really direct from the uh, Timeshare company. Um, I'll give you an overview of HG Max just for those of you who might not know and also just give you a summary so you can get a sense as we go through the details about if you buy res uh, resale HTV or Diamond Deed, uh, what's the scenario there? Um, and it still works for the collections on the Diamond side. And then if you buy resale and then a 25k uh, of retail, what does that do to you and on the points? And then if you buy only retail, will be the last one I go through. Anyway. That's what I'm going to cover today. Before I do that, I'll, I'll tell you about my channel. Then I'll be right back to jump into the details. Hi, this is Cliff, and I'm the Timeshare Traveler. Welcome to my channel. The purpose of my channel is to educate those who love traveling in timeshares. I've been an owner, owner for 15 plus years at uh, Timeshare Ownership. I have elite ownership with Marriott, Hilton, and Worldmark. I have a, published over 100 timeshare video reviews, and I've published over 95 timeshare tips. I can be found on Facebook at Timeshare Trav, at Twitter, Timeshare Trav, and on the web at www.timesharetraveler.com. Okay, let's first talk about buying resale um, or use kind of the comparison. If you buy a resale, which is used, it's less expensive. You pay the same maintenance fees. Um, you can only buy a deed in HDV or Diamond Properties. Um, you, can, you can also buy the collection points, um, but only basic, basic benefits are... Uh, attribute to that no perks like all the benefits for tiers and so forth it's just basically you can use it at the resort you have that and the and the associated uh, whatever the collection that has with that so if you if you bought it that I'll go through that in detail um, if you buy from the developer it's more expensive but you have the full program benefits perks like bonus points are included um, and again these rules are they change not that often but they do from time to time but so before you do something like this once you review this and kind of make your decision be sure to check with hilton um, you can call the main number um, and they, they'll they give you the rules now let's talk about the uh, quick overview of the htv max uh, the point tiers there's the regular member then you start going into the premier tiers at preferred which is over 17,000 points preferred plus at 22,000 so from 17 to 22 is preferred a preferred plus is 22 to 38 premier is 38 to 54 premier plus is 54 up to 100 and then centium um, is over 100,000 points it includes hv uh, hilton grand vacations club the hilton club and it also includes the hilton vacation club reservation window limitations for all those rules um you'd have to look at, at the hilton site up don't have them all memorized and don't want to take up the time to go through that key perks depending on levels uh, as you can convert to hilton honors points at, at discount and have discounted rates at staying there uh, you can roll points to the following year you can borrow from the current year at all levels um one annual fee no booking fees, you just pay one fee for the, that's the nice, I like that about HCV Max, because I do a lot of bookings. Um, um, you can have open season credit, and again, this depends on your level. At my level, you get quite a bit of, of that. Um, One-time use points, so now instead of, if you're short just for the year and you want to bus buy and just enough points, you have the option to buy versus having an ongoing maintenance fee, which I really like. Um, at the top two levels, the one I'm at plus one more, you get a lift credit, which means I can take a lift and charge it to the room, uh, basically covered for me. And then there's an automated search, and depending on your level, you get um, uh, more of those. So you can actually have it find uh, things you're looking for on an ongoing basis. Now I'm going to talk about if you buy resale, either Hilton Grand Vacations Club or Diamond Deed. Um, you can only use the the points at the club where your deed was purchased so in the case if you buy a hilton grand vacations resale deed then only the hilton grand vacation club and not the upgraded former diamond clubs um, if it's a diamond resale then only the former diamond resorts if it happened to be a collection then only what that collection supports um, the next point is you have the longest booking window at the resort where you own the deed. In the case of Hilton Grand Vacation Club, that's 12 months, and in, in, uh, Diamond, that's 13 months in advance. 
um, you have access to the other resorts after the home week reservation within that either Hilton Grand Vacations or the Diamond or within the collection. Um, but you do not have access to the, if you have a Hilton Deed resale, you do not have access to the uh, former Diamond Clubs. So that's exclusive to being part of HGV Max. Now I'm going to talk about the option that the Hilton members have. If you buy resale and then you buy $25,000 worth of retail, you can bring those points in the Hilton Grand Vacation Max. So first of all, if you buy the $25K retail, you are in Hilton Grand Vacation Max, at least for the uh, those points. Um, the retail points are, are part of HDV Max. The resale points become part of HD Max because you just spent $25,000, but they don't count toward your status. So the only points that count toward the status are the ones that you bought at retail. Um, and that can become important as, as I went through all the, the bonus tier stuff that you have at the uh, earlier when I was talking about HD Max. Um, and again, all points can then be used within HD Max properties. That's both Diamond and Hilton properties within the booking windows. Here's an example. So you bought resale, and this is a reasonable price, just somewhat of rounded numbers. If you could buy 11,200 points, a resale deed for about seven grand, that's about 62 cents a point. Um, then you bought 5,600 points at retail deed purchase for 25K. That's about $4.46 a point. Um, so that combines a 17,800 points purchase for 32K. That's about... $1.90 um, a point. So you can see it's quite a bit cheaper. So there is value in doing that. Um, but you do have to have the 25k to bring that into that. And then the 5600 uh, points only count towards status. So that's kind of, I wanted to give you a summary if you did that. So that's an, that's an option that you have in front of you. And lastly, all if you buy only re retail, all points count for status opportunity is to buy monthly specials they have monthly specials for deeds that are uh, you know 10 to 20 percent off maybe even a little more um, the resale upgrades only list price so you don't get the discount there you get bonus points vip credits and other perks are included um, the deeds available for your choice retails can be pretty pretty much the same but often there's a, a bit of um, it depends on the market condition and where at Hilton and most sites have most deeds available. Um, and again, the last thing is you can leverage bonus points, marketing stays. I've done that to buy a marketing stay, then buy a, B, buy a VIP, then do another marketing stay, and then do my upgrade. Anyway, I hope this was helpful for you for those people trying to decide where they should buy resale, where they should buy only from the developer, and so forth. Please don't forget to do a like and please subscribe to my channel.